Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be comparing Anki versus Quizlet. Now, I know a lot of people that use flashcard softwares, including myself. I personally prefer Anki, and that's what I've kind of been using for the past year. What a lot of you might not know is that I actually used to use Quizlet before I started using Anki. So in today's video, we're gonna be comparing Anki and Quizlet and seeing which one actually comes out on top. Now, what is Anki, or some people actually call it Anki, what is that and what is Quizlet? So Quizlet and Anki are essentially flashcard softwares that you can use to study for school or you can use to memorize any piece of information that you want to do. So the first thing we're going to talk about in this video are the similarities between Anki and Quizlet. Now the good thing about Anki and Quizlet is that both of them are actually online softwares. So this is really good because you can actually do it while you're on the go and you'll really never lose your information. For example, let's say your computer crashed on you while you were in school or something happened to your phone or something happened to one of your devices and you don't have the information anymore it's all being stored on the cloud so you don't need to worry all your efforts did not go to waste because actually when I was in first year of undergrad one of my computers well actually my main computer literally crashed on me and I lost all my notes that I had written on it which sucked and from that day forward I realized that it was super important to make sure that I put everything on the cloud so with Anki and Quizlet you do have that luxury that everything is on the cloud another pro of Anki and Quizlet is that both of them you could actually do on the go there are iPhone apps you can also access Anki or Quizlet online through their website you could access it on your iPad, your notebook. The good thing about it is that you can really access it anywhere in the world. Now, one of the big advantages that you could actually access it on the go is that while you're waiting in line for to maybe to get a cup of coffee or while you're, um, you know, on the commute to school, you're on a train, you're on a bus, you could actually do your flashcards while you're on the go. This way, you're getting your work done much quicker. And that way, when you reach your destination, maybe you already finished 5, 10, 15% of the studying that you wanted to do for the day and you've already completed some of it. This is not the case with, uh, you know, regular note taking that you've done. Yet Yes, you could probably access it, but there's a lot of friction in order to take it out of your bag and pull it out and pull out your pencils and your highlighters. It just becomes so hectic and you end up not really doing it while you're on the commute, or at least I wouldn't do that. And I didn't do that when I was in first year. Now, the final similarity between both of them is that you could actually import decks from other people. So let's say someone were to make a flashcard deck on Quizlet or Anki and they want to send it to you. They could actually export that Quizlet deck or the Anki deck, send it to you and you could import it into your own uh, flashcard software. Now, if you were writing regular flashcards by hand, it's very hard to send someone else your flashcards either by sending them pictures or by photocopying and sending to them on uh, you know email or by even giving them your hard copy flashcards but then if they lose them it just becomes so hectic so that, that's kind of the disadvantage of writing out flashcards by hand yes some people prefer it better but I personally like doing it online for this specific reason that I could actually import desk decks from other people when I was studying for the MCAT one of the big things that I did is there was actually a guy that created uh, an Anki deck for the MCAT and I actually use that to study now, don't get me wrong. That's not all I used. I ended up building on top of that, but I already had the luxury of someone already making the basis of what I need to know for the MCAT. And then all I had to do was add more cards for the things that I wasn't very strong in for myself. And then this ended up helping me do well in the MCAT. And that's actually how I organized my studying. And that I think is one of the most effective ways to study for an exam. Now let's talk about the differences. So one of the big differences between the two is cost. So both of them are free to start. However, Quizlet has a lot of features that you actually can't get until you pay for the full version. It's actually a monthly subscription. One of the big features that really was frustrating to me is that I couldn't import photos into Quizlet until I got the pro version. This is really important because we know that a lot of times when you're on an exam, you're trying to remember something, you think of the diagram. It's very hard for you to think of, you know, text on a piece of paper while you're trying to remember a specific concept, unless you have like a mnemonic for it or something like that. But it's very, very hard to remember something unless it is an image or it is a diagram. Like think about it, if you made a full note of text, it's very harder to remember, you know, what's on the fourth line versus if you have an image, it's much easier to conceptualize and visualize an image in your head while you're actually in the testing situation. Anki actually comes with all these features already installed on the Mac or the Windows computer app. Those features are already there. Now, don't get me wrong. The Anki mobile app is actually paid. It's $30, but at least it's not a subscription based. The good thing about it is that it's a one-time fee and that's it. It connects to your computer, it connects to your laptop, it connects to everything, and you don't need to worry about paying on a monthly basis like you do with Quizlet. The second big difference is spaced repetition. Now, Quizlet actually doesn't have this feature. Basically, Quizlet, what it does is that you create all your flashcards. You use those flashcards based on your own schedule. So if you made 30 flashcards, you go through those flashcards one by one by one by one by one. And it's not like every day you wake up, there are specific flashcards cards that Quizlet has already set up for you, you do your flashcards based on your own schedule. Now, this might be beneficial for someone that doesn't want to do flashcards every day. But for me personally, I don't like cramming at the end for my exam and doing all the flashcards in one day. 
I like being able to understand the information over a long period of time so that once the exam comes, I don't need to grind as much as I've already been doing so far. Now, when I use Quizlet, another big issue that I found with this whole no space repetition thing is that if there was one card that was very hard for me, it would be hard for me to single it out unless I like favorited the card. So what I used to do is favorite the cards that I didn't really do well in or I kept on continuously getting wrong. And then before my class, I would go through the favorite cards. Now with Anki, the good thing about it is you answer each card separately. They're kind of individual. They're not, they're mutually exclusive. They're not based on one another. They're, they're independent of each other. So you answer each card based on whether it was hard, easy, good, or you want to do it again. So there's different options that you could have while you're actually answering these cards. And the final thing is the design. Now, don't get me wrong. Anki has a very big learning curve to it. And the design is not very, I would say, user friendly. It's very hard to understand the first time you download Anki. Now with Quizlet, the design is very easy to understand. It's very easy to make a flashcard. It's very easy to access your decks because it's very organized. Now with Anki, you don't really need to know coding for it, but if you do know HTML, it would be beneficial. However, myself, when I started using Anki, I didn't know any coding at all. And I literally just watched one or two YouTube videos and that's how I learned to use it. Yes, the learning curve for Anki is harder, but once you actually do understand how to use Anki, it's way more advantageous versus Quizlet because you can actually take it to new heights. While Quizlet, you're gonna be stuck at the basis and there isn't really a lot of flexibility that you could do with Quizlet. Now, another difference between the two is that Anki actually has add-ons. Now, what are these add-ons? So add-ons are basically uh, different ways that you could use Anki that are created by third-party web developers. So Anki has given other people the opportunity to make different features in Anki that aren't already included when you download the app. One of them being something called image occlusion enhanced. So what this add-on allows you to do basically is insert a diagram into Anki and cover the words that you don't want to be seen. So when a card comes up, basically it shows you the diagram and it covers the labels of those diagrams and you have to solve those yourself. Another add-on is basically a freeze add-on. So you import a picture and you can basically freeze that image. So you can make multiple flashcards for that specific image. With Quizlet, like I said, you have to import each of those images separately. And not only that, to import images, you actually need to have the paid version of it. There are plenty more add-ons for Anki that you could take crazy advantage to. I actually did create a video on it before. You could find it linked above right here. Uh, the Anki add-ons video that I made, I think it was the top five add-ons I have for Anki. And these add-ons are actually game changers. I would recommend you guys watch that video if you do want to download Anki and use it for school. Now, another difference is that Anki actually allows you to sync between all your devices. So Quizlet has the same feature in that if you open Quizlet on any device, you could find all your cards. But with Anki, once you sync your cards, they will automatically be synced with your iPhone and your iPad. So let's say you had 100 cards due today for your studying. You could do 50 of them on your computer, then you sync. Then you go to your iPhone while you're uh, waiting in the line in Starbucks, and you could do another 10 cards. And because it's synced, it already knows you have 50 cards left. It's not gonna start again from that 100 card mark. Now you have 40 cards left. And then once you reach home, let's say you're chilling with your parents. I do this sometimes too. On my phone, I do another five cards here, another five cards there. So that when I come back upstairs, instead of having 50 cards left, now I have 15 cards left or 18 cards left. And I ended up being able to finish them much quicker. So now comes the verdict, which one is better? And in my opinion, as you guys have probably seen through the video and through my previous videos, I think Anki is the number one flashcard system out there. Now, let me give you five reasons for that. The first reason is that Anki is free online. It comes already with all the features that it already has, like importing images, all these add-ons, and it comes free. We're comparing the bases. Yes, you could pay for the iPhone version and uh, that is $30, but on the base platform, Anki is free. Quizlet is also free, but it doesn't give you access to all the features that Quizlet offers. The second reason is flexibility. We said that Anki has a lot of add-ons that you could add into it, and it allows you to sync it between your devices, whether online or on your laptop, and you can actually import many different images into it. So the flexibility of Anki is way larger and you could take it to different heights. You could basically take way more advantage of Anki versus Quizlet. The next reason, and this actually might be one of the most important reasons that there is space repetition with Anki. You guys have seen from some of my previous videos that I always advocate for space repetition and doing your studying basically over a long period of time rather than cramming it all. Anki already has this feature built in while Quizlet doesn't have this feature built in. So it's really important to take advantage of space repetition in your studying. And if you do end up using Quizlet, you need to figure out a way to organize your flashcards to work in a space repetition uh, format. Now, the next reason is that you could sync it between all your devices. Like I said earlier, once you download the iPhone app and the iPad app, yes, it's $30, but it, trust me, it is worth it. And you could sync it between all your devices. The final reason is that you could actually import and export your decks in multiple different formats. You can export it as an 
Excel sheet. There are multiple decks online out there already where you can import and export uh, into. So it's kind of like an online cloud-based system where you can go online and download other people's decks that they made. And this is really beneficial once you start getting into grad school, like pharmacy, medicine, dentistry, engineering, like nine times out of 10, someone has already made a deck for it. So if you go online into the Anki cloud-based platform, you could actually download one of those decks and start studying right then and there without wasting any time. Now this essentially sums up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do have any questions relating to Anki or Quizlet, definitely feel free to comment them down below and I will make sure to answer every single question. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and take it easy.